So for the years that you worked in Ukraine, was Ukraine joining NATO something that most Ukrainians wanted or that Europe wanted? No. NATO is a political issue. Joining the European Union is an economic issue. Right. And what the Ukrainians cared about was the economic issue. Um, yes, they, they, they wanted their independence, but there wasn't, they weren't fearful of Russia invading before, uh, because there was no, I mean, that was the red line. Yeah. And, and there was, and nobody wanted it except for Biden, you know, this macho approach to things and, and, and a truly a lack of understanding. It's not like I'm telling you anything that was a secret. This was all publicly known. Yeah. I mean, and, 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 I, and universally known in Ukraine, right? Right. And, and very few people would have ever suggested that. And that's what caused, well, the Afghanistan debacle. Right. Coupled with the threat of NATO in Ukraine and the lack of respect that Putin had for anybody, a part of the, the foreign policy apparatus of Biden that were part of the Obama uh, uh, government was all that was necessary to light this, light this spark uh, that created the fire. And the, but there was no reason for it. It, it was an unforced error of, mag, of incredible consequence. Well, yeah. How many people do you think have died in Ukraine all in? I'm told uh, uh, over 100,000 Ukrainians and uh, over 300,000 Russians. I, I don't know that, but I'm told that. So you were there, you were working in Ukraine in 2014 when Maidan happened. Um, we were told by our media that that was just a popular uprising against a Russian-aligned government. It was totally organic. Now it looks like it was a coup orchestrated by the CIA. What was it, and did you know what it was at the time? It was not organic. Okay. <laughs> it was not organic, so it would be option B then. It was, it was, uh, there were forces that saw an opportunity to unseat a, a democratically elected president.